Welcome to this short movie on methods used to collect data and reliability of data. In this movie, you will learn ways to identify the methods used to collect data in different types of sources, and you'll learn ways you can determine if that data is reliable. You'll see several examples. For each item in your annotated bibliography, you must write about methods and reliability. Methods refers to how the author of your article, book, or website compiled the information. Reliability refers to the accuracy and trustworthiness of that information. Some sources, such as many scholarly journal articles, are original research. The authors may have collected their own data via scientific experiments, observations, or surveys. They may also use data collected by other researchers and analyze it in a new way. Other sources, such as popular newspapers and magazines, summarize the original research of others, use quotes from experts or people involved in the issue being reported, or refer to other published sources of information such as news stories, research reports, and websites. Here are things that you can look for to help you understand a source's methods used to collect data. A bibliography or list of all the sources the author consulted. It may be called works cited, references, or notes. Here, the author consults, for example, 60 Minutes, a respected news show, and several scholarly articles and books. When writing your annotations, don't just say there is a bibliography, but write about the quality of sources in the bibliography. In-text references or quotations. This article does not include a bibliography, but we see that the author quotes the Associate Director for Education Policy at the National Council of La Raza and uses information from the National Immigration Law Center. Be as specific as possible when writing about the experts or organizations with whom the author consulted. On websites, authors provide hyperlinks to the original sources of information. This article from Business Insider got its information from an online New York Times article and provides a link to it. It also links to a research report done at the University of Michigan, seen here. Always check links to confirm the reliability of the original sources. Look for the origin of statistics. In this scholarly article from the American Journal of Public Health, the authors analyzed data already gathered by the U.S. Department of Transportation in the National Household Travel Survey. The authors did original research using existing data. This Wall Street Journal article reprinted numbers already gathered by the New York City Department of Homeless Services. We, the readers, in turn, can rely on the data in both of these examples as it was gathered by national and city governments. In scholarly articles, look for the Methods section, which explains how the authors did their research and collected their data. Author opinions, such as blogs or editorials, must be supported by factual information that can be checked for accuracy. To help you determine the methods used to collect data and reliability of data, ask yourself the following questions about each of your articles, books, or websites. Are the sources of any factual information clearly stated, such as through bibliographies, notes, or hyperlinks? Do you know the source and date of any statistics? If there is no depth of research, such as in current news stories, can the material be checked for accuracy? Are authors' opinions backed up with evidence? Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn. Please return to your class page and answer the questions in steps 2 through 4.